Okay. Hey guys, it's Philip and Logan with Bowman Outdoors here again. Um, we're in the middle of shooting several different videos, and uh, so we've got some footage for one, this one for this one, but today we are going to um, shoot before we install this FX slug power kit. Logan and I both have one. Um, and we haven't installed either one of them, so we've got the gun set up, and we're gonna shoot uh, video. Our, our goal is to see what the slug power kit does, right? So everybody has them installed, everybody talks about how they have them installed, but we wanna see the kind of velocity increases you can expect to see if you don't change your tune at all and you install a slug power kit. This is kind of like a baseline. Was I talking too much? <clears throat> Yeah, well, it was just like really, it was like, okay, dude, let's get to the point a little um, bit. Right now, we've got uh, the power wheel is set on 16, the micro wheel set at 4, front front regulator, first regulator is 150 bar, back, back or second regulator is at 110 bar. We won't change any of those things until after we install this. And we're going to be testing it out today with some 33.5 Nielsen Specialty Ammo slugs and some 38.9 Nilsson specialty ammo slugs. So uh, we'll set the baseline uh, running off of our FX Chrono and uh, see where it goes. Oh, and uh, these power kits, should we put a shout out to, these power kits came from Ken Hicks at Spa or Southern Precision Air, air weapons. weapons. It's the the air weapons, not air rifles, but um, Ken Hicks uh, sold us these. Um, and I would say that this video may be partially sponsored by Ken because he did help us out with some um, digital regulators and some other cool gadgets that you guys will see uh, in the future. So um, if you're looking for air rifle, slug power kit, or uh, accessories, check out uh, Spall. I don't remember what is spaweapons.com. Yeah. I think it's spaweapons.com. There's only one W in there. Um, and Ken Hicks is a great guy. Um, lots of help. We really, really enjoy working with him. So we'll, we'll consider this one partially sponsored, if you will, um, from, by those from him as well. All right, perfect. Thank you. Let's get started. <laughs> All right. I think you do. Okay, what, what moderator are you running? So running the Donnie FL Ronin. Ronin. We have the FX Chrono hooked up. We've got the Saber Tactical under rail, extended rail with the magnetic clip on it. Uh, power wheel 16, micro wheel at four. And then we've got a replacement for this rig. That's coming soon. And then the Saber Tactical um, rear buttstock adjustable. I've got it set the way I want it. And then an Athlon Argos BTR Gen 2. What is it? Uh, six by 24 by 50? Yes. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay, so once again, this is before the slug power kit installed. This is the lighter 33.5 grain slugs. Really consistent in the velocities. Yeah, and the shot group. Yeah. Looks like your spread is like of two. I think that was five. We'll do six. All right. Oh, that one messed it all up. Uh, Should have went. Uh, Should have kept it with the five. Is your bottle filled up uh, good enough? Do I have more than 150? Yeah. Okay. And then so, once again, this is pre-power slug. I'm gonna shoot two just to, or I'm gonna shoot one that we're not gonna count. Okay, and this is the, this is the heavier 38.9 grain slugs from Nielsen Specialty. It's starting to rain, hurry, 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 hurry. Velocity seems pretty consistent. Okay. 
That's six right there. Oh, this will make six. All yeah. right. And then so now we're going to go ahead and install the slug power kit and see what kind of velocity differences that you can expect if you install a slug power kit. All right, so we're back uh, through the magic of television. Uh, installed the slug power kit. About a week later. <laughs> plus one week. I uh, had to go find some new set screws. I stripped one off, the, the one back uh, that holds in the push pin is really important. I know um, that one right there. I don't know if you can tell, but it goes back here. Yeah, it'll come all the way back. Yeah. That one was tough to get out. I ended up um, stripping it out and then had to drill it out and then tap, put a new set screw in it. So uh, that one's on me. Um, and then we, we got it all put back together and had lost like 200 uh, pounds by the time we got it back or 200 feet per second. Feet per second. Um, turns out that little rubber ball, throw it away. Well, don't throw it away, save it in your little bag. It's talking about the little rubber ball that goes inside your spring, that goes inside of your valve adjuster. So right here, you have your valve adjuster and then there's a little spring that it comes with and a little rubber ball that's supposed to go in there. But uh, what we and other people have noticed is that rubber ball actually decreases. Yep your velocity is pretty drastically and I think it it might change because so like what we're trying to test right now is like if you bought a slug power kit put it in didn't change your tune what you could expect to see but as you increase your pressure what that rubber ball does is it increases resistance so I think it leaves your valve open a little bit longer so if you're pumping more air into it for heavier slugs you might see less and like I don't know. We'll have to, that's what we're going to test. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of tests that need the, to go Lots on. of tests. So um, the power wheel is still at 16. The micro adjuster is still at 4. Those were not touched at all. Uh, regulator 1 is still at 150-ish, wherever it was beforehand. Yeah, 150 bar. Regulator 2 is still at uh, that 110, 115 bar. Uh, neither of those two regulators were touched at all. Uh, the only thing that we we couldn't confirm is um, the valve adjuster so we went back to four because you have to take that off and I went back through my notes and I had a, a note that said it was at 10.12 uh, millimeters so I put it right back there measured it with a caliper so I'm not as, exact but I'm it's as pretty close close as I I feel like we can be with it and uh, now we're ready to test yeah. so we'll set up the chrono uh, fire shots with both of the same slugs again, the 33.5 uh, NSA and the 38.9 NSA. That's the two we shot last time, and then we'll go from there. All right. Okay. I think we'll, we'll expect to see similar velocities with and without it. And then uh, next video, we're going to tune these things up and then and see if that has a difference between my gun with no slug power kit and his gun with a slug power kit is kind of what we want to eventually yep. get to and uh so there will be a part two of this video on the the tuned slug power versus not tuned yeah. and uh by the way logan does have a a slug power kit uh that he can install whenever he's ready but we're gonna we're gonna leave his stock for now Do so that tests. we can make some tests yeah. back and forth so that is one of the advantages of having two guns. Yeah. Not that it costs us anything. Again, uh, Southern Precision Air Weapons uh, is where we got these, the guns and the slug power kit and some of the other accessories as well. So they've been super helpful. Uh, and so we'll get started. All right. Hey. Okay, so this is the lighter slugs with the slug power kit installed. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. It's kind of hard to see, so I'll read them out. 900. So last time we were looking at what? Like yeah. 880s? Yeah, 885. Okay. Was the average. Yeah, and now we're looking at like a 
Oh, what kind of average are we looking at here? Like 905. What were the low ones? I don't know. I didn't write them down. Yeah. I think we're looking at like a 900 average. Last one. Nine oh two. Okay. That's, that's probably somewhere in there. Five rounds. So we did actually see quite a big increase. Yeah. And then some Which of this does might it not have tell to you be. what the average is. Okay, this is the heavier. Thirty eight point nine. Thirty eight point nine green slugs with the slug power kit. Shooting at 828. 8.30. 8.30. 8.33. 8.40. Okay. So we are shooting <clears throat> still slower than we want to be. We want to be in like that, what, 950, 960 range? Yeah, at least 915. I'd, 915? Whoa. 925. Oh, I don't know. We'll gosh, have to see on the slow. slugs. So will you read those off to me? So I think you can also see a little bit of difference between the feet per second just because of how we readjusted the valve adjuster. So there is going to be like not the exact same tune as before with all the uh, quick tune settings but it does seem to shoot quite a bit faster especially with the uh those lighter ones those jumped up from yeah this an is average a of 903 eight. average yeah so we went from an 885 average to a 903 average with the lighter 33.5 grain slugs i'm working on the other average right now gotcha but i can tell you it's quite a bit faster it was 815 and we're probably looking at an 830 something. 834. 834. Yeah. So, so we gained um, 19 feet per second with the 39, 38.9 grain slug on average. In theory. And we gained because the valve adjuster is probably not exactly the same. Yeah, but fifteen, more, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we gained eighteen feet per second on the lighter ones. And we gained we gained more on the heavier ones. Yeah, we gained. A, this is an increase of nineteen. And I think it has to do with how long it keeps the valve open. Well, and that push pin is angled different. It's just a pin now, so we don't have to take air up and through that hole and uh, plus 18 feet per second. Yeah, so uh, we could do the percentages. It's probably, a, um, uh, well, a higher percent on that heavier slug, but I think it's also designed for those heavier slugs. Yeah. One well, other thing exactly we, defined, one other thing we did that's different is my barrel, right? When we reinstalled it, we went to the slug down, the S down instead of the P down. Right. Um, if you don't know, if you take off these barrels, you'll have uh, two little, uh, like two different sections for air to come in back here. And you can rotate your barrel 90 degrees to switch from pellet to slug. So we went from pellet to slug. Yes. Um, I guess I could have shot with the pellet version just to see if it was truly but nobody's going to install it well i guess you could but if you're going to install the slug power kit you're going to the slug anyway so right so um, s down on the barrel the, yep gotcha. all right um so are we going to do any final thoughts yeah what are your final thoughts final <clears throat> thoughts um it was a 44 dollar purchase i think um, just for the slug power somewhere around there. Yeah. Um, based on Without changing the tune from what we know uh, other than the that valve adjuster. I Think it I'm still I think it's worth the 40 bucks 45 bucks, right? Um, and we learned a lot about the gun the interior of the gun you have man. It was a pain um, I think we can't really tell if it's worth it yet because if we can get similar performances with just tuning the other one, it would save people from having to like 
Because you have to take apart the gun quite a bit oh, yeah. to be able to take out that stuff. Big rail comes can. off. This whole section comes off. Hammer spring comes off. Oh, sorry. Um, pick ra- scope comes off. Pick rail comes off. This piece comes off. This whole cheek off. This ends up coming off this top plate uh, so that you can get down in here to the hammer spring and hammer tensioner. Um, that's where you add those two washers is kind of back there. Um, and then this back here I, is where you end up taking off this back this is where that pusher push rod goes um so it it i think we could do it much faster now we did it basically learned as we went yeah um we can link the description yeah. uh in the description of the video that we watched too or if y'all want to see us do it yeah well we still have one more to do so let us maybe. know <laughs> maybe let us know if you want to see us uh, fumble around with it, but there was a good video out there. That wasn't the Masterclass series, was it? No. Um, we'll leave it in the description. Yeah, we'll link that in the description. And Forget again, the guy's name. Saber Tactical buttstock, Saber Tactical rail extension. Um, Adds quite a bit of velocity. No, though this doesn't add any. Yeah, it does. Velocity? Yeah. This thing it increases air. It's like an exhaust for your car. It, you think it doesn't do much? This thing, oh my, look at this! all this extra airflow you have in here. The ergonomics adds a ton. This railing up here, oh my gosh. It adds aerodynamics. It, it definitely adds aerodynamics. <laughs> oh, Allows geez. you to shoot a ton faster. Um, so anyway, uh, these guns are starting to get modified. We've got some more mods on the way or here already that we're going to add to them. Um, and then we'll we'll do uh, part two where we tune this thing. I'm actually fixing to start tuning it now. And uh, then we'll have some comparison videos for uh, with the two guns going at once. So yep. um, like, subscribe, leave comments for anything you want us to try or any suggestions. Turns out that's the hardest part of this whole deal is figuring out what to what to do videos of. So let us know. All right. See you. Oh, we didn't do our. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Love you, dude. Love you, dude. All right.